In today's video, we will be focusing on section 1.1 out of chapter 1, which is abnormal behavior. Normal psychology is an area of scientific study that attempts to describe, explain, predict, and modify behaviors that are considered strange or unusual. Understanding a particular case of abnormal behavior begins with systematic observations by an attentive professional. This observation, usually paired with the results of the person's psychological history, become the raw material for a psychodiagnosis. A psychodiagnosis represents an attempt to describe, assess, and systematically draw inferences about an individual's psychological disorder. In order to explain abnormal behavior, the psychologist first identifies possible causes for the described behavior. This information, in turn, bears heavily on the program of treatment chosen. As an example, we will be looking at Sung Hui Cho, the mass murderer case study presented in the textbook, and in some snippets of his life that could explain that something was biologically wrong with him from birth. As a child, he was described by family members as mute, cold, and shy. His mother speculated that he was autistic. Some relatives say that he was different from birth and suggest that his problem was biological in nature. He was often the subject of teasing and cruel taunts by classmates probably because of his unusual behaviors. He was often bullied, called names, mocked, and told to go back to China. Although he seldom showed anger, rumors abounded that he kept a hit list of students he wanted to kill. Cho grew up in poverty. His father was a self-employed second-hand bookstore owner who made little money and moved his family to the United States to improve their financial state. Cho appeared very self-conscious about being poor and resented rich kids, materialism, and hedonism. If a therapist can correctly identify the source of a client's difficulty, he or she should be able to predict the kinds of problems that the client will face during therapy and the symptoms the client will display. Abnormal behavior may be modified through therapy, which is a program of systematic intervention designed to improve a client's behavioral, affective, and or cognitive state. For example, many therapists believe that Cho could have been helped and the mass killings prevented if he had received treatment. Allowing him an opportunity to get in touch with and to vent his anger may have reduced his chances of doing harm to others. This brings us to the end of the overview of Module 1.1 from Chapter 1, where I discuss describing abnormal behavior, explaining abnormal behavior, predicting abnormal behavior, and modifying abnormal behavior. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for another one on Module 2.2.